Hello, I just want to today uh, give you a quick demo on clearbooks.co.uk. It's an online cloud based accounts program. It's what I use to track all my invoices and bills and everything to do with um, my company, money wise. Uh, I find it really easy to use. The demo site isn't brilliant because there's a lot of junk information in there. But I'll give you a quick run around um, just to show you all these little features that it has um, that might be useful to you. I find it useful because when I'm traveling, uh, everything on my accounts are online and I can act to activate uh, my accounts, send out invoices, pay bills, and just see the state of my company at any one time. So what I generally do um, is obviously create invoices. So you'll see these are currently invoices in this system that are owed. So 41,000, like I say, there's a lot of information in there um, that's junk. This is uh, bills that are unpaid, obviously, as it says. So you can go in and track everything that you owe and pay them. You can create a new invoice, simple enough. Uh, add a customer date. If there's any projects, you can add a project to it. Um, then you can add uh, any kind of item, whether it's labour, something like that, with your unit prices, labour revenue, if there's VAT on that, you can add the VAT, you know, uh, installation of, I don't know, website. It's kind of a cheap one, 30 quid. Save. Um, and then you have automatically just created an invoice. You can view the PDF of that. You can All this is customizable to whatever you want it to see. There's lots of different templates for um, invoices. You can email that link to a customer. You can uh, save the PDF. It's all obviously, I like any real, um, any accounts program that you're used to. There's lots of little functionality to it. This actually looks to be an older version than the one I'm using. When I go to add an item, I have a list of items that I may already have used. I can add an item and then you actually have part numbers. So maybe this, this demo site isn't set up uh, on the newest version of Clearbox, but I'm sure they'll be getting to it soon. You can... Um, obviously go and pay if you if you check your bank account and you've been paid so say this one here you've just checked your account and it's been paid you can come down select the payment bank transfer today pay and that one now you've just received the money so it will have gone from the, uh, the list here of advertising thun you can see your bank accounts how much money is in the bank when this is up to date, um, if you come down your profit and loss, so here's your um, current year. So again, it's a lot of junk. But if you were doing this monthly, you'd have you'd have each a line for each month, and you'd have all your filtered down of all the expenses and all your income. So you can see that twenty five pound there is what we've just put through for June. You can go back to previous years to to view a previous year's invoices. Like I say, you get itemized once you put them in. They really should spend a little bit of time making this demo site a little bit more accurate. So obviously insurance, that'll be uh, an invoice for some sort of insurance. Purchase, whatever it is. So someone's put it in. Again, this is all junk information. Um, one of the best features I find on here when I use it is when I I can go to my bank and um, let me just remember where it is on here. You have an import tool where you can basically select your bank account and you can. I haven't got one to choose from, but you can actually import a CSV bank statement. Um, and maybe I'll if I get a chance I'll I'll mock a, a temporary one up. And show you when you import it, you basically go down your bank statement and say, 
it says it's £45 for O2, you just click that's phone bill. If there's £25 petrol, mileage, or whatever it is, you can just literally go down each line item and tick off against the account um, expense what that is. So that's a really fast tool if you're, if you're up to date with, uh, if you're just using one bank statement. And that will update your money coming in. So if you've got a couple of bank accounts, um, try and see all the features. He's down here. You can drag and drop all these boxes uh, into different places if you want to. You can see here's a VAT return. So £64,000 worth of VAT return uh, due for this mock company. I'm not paying that. You can see your dividends, your tax, and your dividends, what tax you, you're uh, possibly going to pay, and dividends that you can take. Um, you can actually go in and uh, create your VAT return. It's a while since I've done it, but um, he's gone quiet. Tax VAT return. You can put in your dates of your VAT month. Search for invoices. Uh, there's nothing there. Again, because it's junk information, there's a, there's a lot of junk in there, but if there was anything active, it would come up. Uh, there you go. So then it comes, it shows you the information as to how this is built up. The money you can. Uh, sift all the way through it. You can create your VAT return. I don't think it's going to let me because of the dates. But you can create a VAT return and then automatically go online and post it, which is a good feature. Um, sort of rushing through it. It's just a quick demo that I wanted to share with you. Um, another great feature which I use is you can create your payroll. So you can link this to each employee and then once the pay slip is generated. You can send the PAYE directly to the government um, website. You can post it direct from this from this site. So it's really good feature to um, to simply add. Uh, I'm not going to do it because it it is a bit. Uh, you need you need certain things. You need certain um, items to know to be able to do it and then send it. But it's it's a really good option to generate your monthly pay slips. And then send automatically to PAYE. Um, so it's one of those things that I'm trying to show you quick. So I'm a little bit bumbling around, uh, but I think you can get a good jest. You can also what is great on this, which is what I did last year, was I invited my accountant to log in. So you get an option somewhere to invite your accountant. Um, uh, I've already done it on mine, so it's a while since I have had to do it. There used to be a little box on here that said invite accountant. And basically my accountant logged in, checked everything, edited what we needed, verified it all. And my accounts was pretty much completed via this cloud without me having to go and see my accountant or, and very little of uh, to and fro and from my me and my accountant to to get my accounts up to date because all the information was in here so i didn't have to print off every invoice i'd sent out i just sent my accountant into this program and um she could see all the invoices i'd sent out for the year she could see that my bank account was um same as my bank statements that i'd emailed her i actually saved a lot of paper not having to print everything off because on bills you can actually attach invoices uh, receipts sorry you can you know you can go there and if you wanna you can attach the file you can scan it in and attach it you know just to save or if it's an email you can attach it just to save printing everything off and you know try and save a few trees rather than the accountant wanting to see every piece of paper that rolls through your business they can log into this online cloud and everything's there you know I refuse to print all invoices off that I've received through email, all these PayPal, uh, any PayPal transactions, I, I'm not printing them off. If people want to come and see them afterwards, if I get, you know, um, if 
HMRC want to come and see stuff, I have it all on email. I don't need to kill a hundred trees to print everything off to put it in a box to give it to my accountant when they can log in and view everything here. So it's a really good tool. It's I'll post a link to using it. Maybe they'll come through with a, a cleaner demo site where it's got it's not full of junk and you've got a little bit more you know rare, real um data that you can see a lot more of its functions and its features and uh, let me know what you think if you use something else online if you use your own cloud or you, you still prefer uh, desktop accounts programs like sage or quickbooks let me know tell me tell me what you think and and I'll uh, see if I can do a demo of them as well but as I say that was just a quick demo of a of what I consider a very useful tool online cloud tool to uh, help run your business a little bit smoother and easier from wherever you are in the world.